Hey, what's up? Welcome back to uh, this new video. This one is paper 3-1 of May, June 2022. Now, with that being said, obviously, let's move on to the questions we have for you today. Question number one, we have to solve the equation uh, for the value of x, obviously, correct to two decimal places. All right, so here we have x on top. So whenever we have x on top, we have to use ln or log on both sides. That will be log of 2, 3, 2x minus 1 equal to log of 4x plus 1. Now we have to use the laws of log to help you with that. For example, we should know log of a times b is equal to log of a plus log of b. So here we have 2 times this one. So that will be log of 2 plus log of 3 power 2x minus 1. Obviously equal to, now we have to send the power here in front, that will become x plus 1 log of 4. Now again, this question is we're trying to find the value of x, so we have to focus on making x the subject of the formula. So that's the steps we're trying to follow. Again, as a rule here we should know, uh, let's say we have log of a power x equal to, send this one here, same thing as x log of a. So we can this and this. Using this knowledge, we can have simplify this. That will be log of 2 plus, that will be 2x minus 1 and log of 3. Right. Equal to x plus 1 log of 4. Simplify, you will have what? Log of 2 plus expand, you will have 2x log of 3 minus log of 3 is equal to x log of 4 plus log of 4. Now let's try to uh, simplify and solve this one. So first we have to send all the x to one side, right? So let's do this. Here we have 2x log of 3 minus x log of 4. Now everything else go to the other side. Log of 4 plus log of 3 minus log of 2. Now simplify, uh, we can factorize the value of x outside, you'll have the x here, that'll be 2 log of 3 minus log of 4 is equal to combine, because these are the same, you'll have log 4 plus become times minus become divide, that'll be log of 6. So finally, uh, x is a value of what? Again, you can simplify here if you want to, that'll be, send this over here, you have log of 9 minus log of 4, which is log of 9 over 4 is equal to log of 6. So therefore x will be the value of what? Of obviously log of 6 divided by log of 9 over 4. So log of 6 divided by log of 9 over 4. That will be 2.2 Zero nine five, but correct to two decimal place, two point two one, and this is your answer for question number one. Now let's move on to question number two. So here we have to expand this one in ascending powers of x up to x power four. Uh, now obviously we have to use the binomial expansion. For example, we know it's possible when we have one here, whatever x and power n. Now one has to be plus one. And here we have to have this as negative or a fraction for, it, for us to be able to use that expansion. Now let's check. Here we have 2 minus x squared power minus 2. Now we can confirm this one is good to go. My negative, obviously. And this one is 2, so not good. We have to kind of change that to plus 1. How? By factorization. So take 2 outside. And then also apply the power here. That will become 1. Then minus x squared over 2, power minus 2. Okay, now we can expand. That will be what? That will become 1 plus minus 2 times the value over here, minus x squared over 2, plus minus 2 times minus 3, divided by 2 factorial, times the minus x squared over 2 squared. Now this is 1 over 4, obviously. Or we can check, right? 2 power minus 2. 1 over 4. Right. Now, simplify. That will be 1 
cancel, 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 plus exclude. This will go away with this one. That will become plus 3 x power 4 over the value of, of 4. Now simplify, you will have 1 over 4 plus x squared over 4 plus 3 over 16 x power 4. And this is your expansion uh, of this expression up to x power 4, part 1. Now for part 2, state the values of x, of x, for which this expansion is valid. So whenever it's that case, we have to look at the initial equation. We had 2 minus this one, minus 2. So we always have to look at the values inside. The values over here, which is x squared, again, the sign is not important here. Just look at the value over here, that will be x squared have to be less than the value over here. Now obviously x root of 2, x will be minus root of 2 and root of 2. This is your set of values for x for it to be valid. Or you can just write this one as well for your answer, or you can expand this into this form for your answer. And that is your question number 2. Now let's move on to question number 3. So here we have to solve the equation for the value of x, obviously, between 0 and 180. Now we have cot 2x, cot x. Now what is cot? Cot of x is 1 over 10 of x. Now obviously cot of 2x will be simply 1 over 10 of 2x. Now, as you can see here, we have 2x, x. We can break this down into simply x. So. We should know tan of 2x is what? E is equal to 2 tan of x divided by the value of 1 minus tan square x. Now, we should know 1 over tan 2x is simply flip this upside down. So you will have 2 times 1 minus tan square x over the value of 2 tan x which is this one, and this is outside. Now plus 3 cot x is 1 over 10x, e is equal to the value of 5. Here you go. Now simplify, you will have what? This and this will cancel out. So you will have 1 plus this should be 4 here, minus tan square x, over the value of 10x. E is equal to 5 over 1. Now we can cross multiply, you will have what? 4 minus tan square x is equal to 5 tan x. Send this over here, everything to one side, you will have tan square x. And this will be a plus 5 and minus 4. That will be 0. So simplify, let's see what happens. Of course, you can use your formula, or we can try to factorize this right now. So it's pretty, should be pretty simple. That'd be 10 of x and 10 of x. Now 4 is simply uh, the value of 4 times 1. To get plus 5, we have to have plus 4 and plus 1. But here you can see we have negative here, so minus. So plus times plus, it is plus, so this is not good. Now let's try to use our formula, which is what? Which is 10 of x is equal to minus b plus minus root of b square 4 times a times c that be 41 divided by 2a that should be 2 so first one tan of x is what plus root of 41 divided by 2 that be 0 0.702 or tan of x could be what minus 5 minus root of 41 divided by 2 minus 5.702 now from here we can try to uh, solve uh, the first one is pretty easy tan is positive obviously it will be in the first quadrant and in the third quadrant this will be your value of x directly and this is the value of 180 plus x so x will be simply tan inverse of the positive value over here. Let's see what we have. So tan inverse of 0 0.702, that'll be 35.1. Minus 
but also it will be 180 plus 35.1, which is 215.1 degrees. However, because the value of x is only between 0 and 180, this is not good enough. It will be outside. Now for this one, as you can see, tan is negative. It will be in the second quadrant and the fourth quadrant. This is the value of 180 minus theta. This is 360 minus theta. Now, the reason why I'm using theta here is because whenever you have a negative value for trigonometry, we don't we can't or we don't find x directly. We use a pseudo angle. I'm calling this theta for me. You can call this alpha, beta for you, whatever you want to choose. But that's the idea. Now, I find theta. Theta will be tan inverse of the positive value of this one. That will be 80.1 degrees. So finally, to find the value of x will be according to my quadrants. 180 minus 80.1, that should be 99.9. .9. Or it could be 360 minus 80.1, that should be 379.9, sorry, 279.9. But now obviously this one is too much because it's outside of the domain right here. So x will be the value of 35.1 and 99.9. This is your answer for question number three. The description below and click on this link to access the Patreon page for the full video. With that being said, good luck and thank you for watching.